You're right. You look nervous. What? What do you mean? I don't know. You look like you're fidgety. The thing is, Todd, I, I normally when I would just come by here and I would look around, right, and then I would buy some of the movie food mm -hmm. <laughs> that you have so prominently displayed all the time, which I love, and maybe I would rent a couple just you know action videos for myself. Right. Today is not that day. Today is a different day. All right. Today I'm here more for someone. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, did you want to rent the porno movie? No. I mean, yes. Listen, I got to teach a guy how to waltz. Oh, <laughs> yeah? No, no, no. I really got to teach a guy how to waltz. Wow. And it's my dad. Mm hmm Have you been to a wedding? No. Oh, you should go to one. Really? They're great. Everything's free. You serious? Yeah. The food, the drinks. Do you want to walk over to the dance instruction section? You have a dance instruction section? Yeah, we keep it in a separate room. It's right behind that curtain, that soundproof curtain. Why do you hide the dance instruction tapes? You'll know in a couple of minutes. This is the one, man. This is the best this one? Is, I've heard nothing but good things about this one. I don't trust the couple on the cover. You know what? I'll even guarantee this one. That has your personal guarantee. Personal. Well, this is the beginner tape, which you might want to start with. Unless you think he... You well, know. for him, I think it would be an introductory thing. For me, I would go right to advanced. There's advanced, then there's pro. Mm. But this totally, you have my guarantee. As long as you watch the Charles Bronson tapes afterwards... Ben, these are late. How about a hi? Hi, Ben. These are late. <sighs> Thanks. Long time no see. It's You're kind of overdue for a visit if you catch me. Well, well, what do you mean? I was here two days ago. Those late fees, you know, they're are the lifeblood of Vic's videos. I mean, yeah. they're our bread and butter. Oh, well, I just I don't understand why you charge a full night's rental just because shouldn't you give a discount break? The idea of the late fee is that it's a punishment. It's a fine. It's a severe fine. Right, for I mean, a severe I, crime. But is it is it that severe? Just, you know... In the context of a video store? Yes, it is. Right, but, is it like murder or anything like that? No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, because I'm usually not late. It's ten bucks. Are you serious? I'm ten, serious. Ten dollars. But that's as much as I paid for the videos to begin with. I'm not going to go over this. You charge full rental rates for... Full rental. For it's a hundred percent fine for a late rental. It's a little uh, punitive, isn't it? A little punitive? It's yeah. 100% punitive. Well, can't you put it on my account because I wanted to There's rent? No account. This ain't no country store. So I got to rent this video today. I'm wondering if you have it in. What are you looking for? It's a Legends of Table Tennis. Do you have a table tennis section? Of course we do. We'd be out of business by now if we didn't have a complete table tennis section. Let me, uh, let me look that up on the computer. Oh, gosh. There was a quicker geek, so you, it's out. Yeah. I have myths of table tennis. Mm -hmm. I have great moments of table tennis. I have mm -hmm. good moments in table tennis. Yeah. I have typical moments in table tennis. Huh, I didn't know there was going to be so many choices. Yeah, my dad used to be a, a nationally ranked table tennis player. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I can, wow. Yeah. You're proud of your father, huh? He actually won a lot of tournaments. Oh, really? Tournaments? That's nice. Sounds like fun. My father was a nom. Huh. So you're doing, uh, you're doing nothing? For I mean, stuff? I'm not doing nothing. I mean, I'm probably... I got one of those Ortega taco kits. Yeah. Know? Oh, those are fun. Tacos. Those are fun. Yeah. So I'll be doing that, you know. It's, yeah. I'm, go I'm probably going to go to www.thankful.com and just... Yeah, that's uh, back. I haven't been there yet. Yeah, you just sort of, you email other people who have nothing to do mm. on Thanksgiving. Wow, wow. So I'll be doing that, you know. Yeah, but so anyway, I am I am cooking this year. It's going to be a full full boat uh, turkey dinner. Oh uh, my god! All the fixings. Oh my god! I love the fixings. Yeah, I did uh, mashed potatoes. Oh my god! What I'm gonna do? Wow. So what do you got? A whole bunch of people coming over or something? It's, like, it's going to be you know pretty small. Yeah. But I mean, there's going to be enough food for probably twenty. Really? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm about to accept something, but you didn't really. Oh. I'd love to come over, though. I mean, that would be, that sounds. Yeah, no. I don't. No, you can't come. <laughs> Did you say no? Yeah, I said no. Are well, you I serious? Mean, because this is a f sort of a family-only deal, and uh, you seem like a nice guy, but, I mean. I'm a very nice guy. Who knows what you're like out of the video store. <laughs> the I, I think you're joking with me now, right? No. No, no. So you're telling me about how you made food for 20. Yeah. You got, like, four people. It is ironic. I don't know. It's just mean. I don't know if it's ironic. I guess that's true. 
I, I just, I can't invite you. I wish you had some self-respect and would stop inviting yourself to my house for Thanksgiving because it's, it's embarrassing. Well, you set me up, and you know you set me up. Man, it is going to be good, though. So you're doing it again? No, I'm not. I'm just saying, I was just thinking about well, it. Well, dude, you had to say, oh, it's going to be good. Do you like turkey? I love turkey. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I got a, a big turkey. How many pounds? I'd say it's got to be like probably 150 to 170. Oh, my God, your car just expired. Hey, Don. What's wrong, man? You look uncomfortable. Yeah, can I use the John? The, ooh, ooh. The latrine? I, no, I, you know I can't let you use the bathroom. What are you talking about? You can't let me use the bathroom. See the sign under the late fee sign? Customers can't use the restroom. Right. Yeah, but Todd, I'm not a customer. You sure are a customer. You're a very good customer. Well, buddy, and I call you buddy because I... Because you need to use the bathroom. I understand. <laughs> yes. You're my buddy now. Come on, you Todd. I mean, I know you, there's a sign and I know there's a policy, but policies are made to be broken. I mean, I, you know how many policies I broke today? Hey, if it were my store, you could totally, you could use the bathroom. Well, where's Vic? Vic's actually in the bathroom. How long is that going to take? He's reading the new uh, Leonard Malton guide in there. That's over a thousand pages. Yeah. No, I got hit in the stomach by my father. Accidentally, I hope. I asked him to. You wanted to get punched in the stomach? Well, it was a it was a test of of will. What's that thing on your arm? Um, I got hit. You got hit again? Yeah. Yeah. Not by my dad this time. Who hit you this time? Look, this is a little embarrassing. I just want to go to the bathroom and then get out of here and maybe rent a video. How about that? I'll tell you what. If you let me punch you... Are you serious? I'll look the other way. Well... Because that way I can justify. I can say, hey, I punched him. I work here. Well, I'm, you know what? I'm going to pee right here. Because this is crazy. I will, I'll call the cops. There's no way out of this, right? i got to get hit. You don't have to get hit. You just won't use this All because this some guy called me a sissy. When does it end? Huh? Someone called you a sissy? Just hit me. All right, where do you want me to? I'll, I'll let you choose where I hit you. That's how nice I am. All right. The ass. You want me to punch your ass? I kind of do, yeah. I mean, only because it's the most padded part of my body. Hmm. What if someone comes in and you're punching my ass? What if someone comes in and you're using the bathroom? All right, go ahead, punch. Okay, boom. I peed. Hi, Tom. How you doing? Not well. What's wrong? I got problems in my life. Oh, no. Yeah. When you have problems... Well, I don't have problems, but I almost said that. I appreciate your support. What's wrong? What you see you... what's going on with Pullman Square? I mean, oh what... yeah, yeah, I like it. Why would you like that? That's a lot of reasons, man. All those new stores, you know. Well, it's the same stores in the mall. I know, but they're right there. But the whole point is, you can go to the mall and go to those stores. Not. Uh, I don't like malls. So I don't. But it's going to be like a mall. I like the stores at a mall, but I don't like malls. Well, it's going to be like a mall. I know. It's great, man. You know what? It would be like coming in here and seeing you, but you were different. Uh-huh. You know? Like it was Todd. But I became a Gap or something? No, not a store. Like you look different. Uh-huh. Like let's say, let's say you styled your hair like, like you uh, slickified. Slickified? Yeah. Wow. Like put gel in it? I do put gel in it. You do? Yeah. So it was kind of a bust, huh? Well, not a lot of people showed up. That's why I'm doing this now, this uh, flyer thing. Flyers always help well, I'm bring people in. I'm posting flyers up everywhere. Can I post one up here? Okay, actually, it's against it's against store policy, Ben. You what about can't... all those flyers up in the window? The flyers? Yeah. Well, those are bands that are be playing in town soon. Oh, so bands can do it, but if I'm on a Save Pullman Square Well, those, that's, that's an apolitical sort of agenda. The bands have an agenda? No, nah, they just want to rock out. You know, Todd... You may have a laissez-faire attitude uh -huh. about this now. I, <laughs> you like that? I mean, but you should really start getting into the esprit de corps. Do you know what I'm saying? I know. It's, I know. I, I have a joie de vivre about it. Though. Well, you may have a joie de vivre, but that joie de vivre may be uh, taken away too sweet <laughs> if you don't do something, because uh, what I'm planning here is coup d'etat. Oh, wow. And that coup d'etat is going to change le monde. Whoa. What's the matter? You're getting all these? I do everything big, Todd. Yeah. I don't do anything small. Man, you can't wipe out a whole section. I mean, I, I guess you can, but no one's ever done it before. Who's going to rent these anyway? Like, no one now. Well, this is kind of a special occasion. What's going on here? This is... I got to um, stock up on movies because I'm, I'm going to be in the house for a while. In the house? Yeah. Word. But not, not in the house like I'm typically in the house. I'm going to be convalescing. Convalescing? 
Well, I gotta get my wisdom teeth out of you. How are you gonna eat all this stuff? Look at this. You got supersized Twizzlers, mm -hmm. jumbo milk duds. No, well, I'm gonna make um, shakes out of it. Shakes? Yeah, you, you put the... Um, Licorice shakes? You do it with any candy. You're gonna make a Skittle shake? Skittle's a good shake. Yuck. Have you had your wisdom teeth out? No, I'm keeping my mind, man. That's a scam. What are you talking about? God did not give you extra teeth. Well, well, you know what? And I'm talking as a man who's been scammed many times. How have you been scammed? The whole burn yourself and go to the hospital and get a skin graft scam. I got that one. The whole, do you ever like fall and break your arm and they put it in a cast? I have not. Scam. Really? You don't need to do that. Mm. Nature takes care of itself. You could just walk away from that. Anal wart scam, I fell for that one also. There's a lot of medical scams. People really trust doctors way too much. Hey, Todd. What's up, man? I'll tell you, man, a lot. I took an adult education class. Uh-huh. In, in past life regression. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny? No, no, man. Did you take it? No, I didn't. I, God, I don't know why I didn't. So what's the class like? What did you learn at the class? I'm sorry. Well, first of all, we were all somebody in a past life. Mm, yeah. The guy opened with that, that. He opened with that? Yeah. Wow. He said that everybody in this room was somebody or some other spirit uh -huh. in a past life. Right. So the spirit lives on. Uh-huh. And it has since the beginning of time. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry I asked this question, actually. But the best part, right? Yeah. The best part was that you go into a sort of like almost hypnotic state mm. where you have to go and find who you were in a past life. And I uh. found who I was. And it turns out I I think I was a mobster. Yeah. I, I was actually wondering if you, um, what do you recommend as far as mob movies? Which ones have you seen or do you? Uh... Well, I mean, I know there's The Godfather, right? I've never seen that movie. You've never seen The Godfather? You work in a video store. I know, but you know. Well, don't people ask about The Godfather all the time? Hey, if you have to ask about The Godfather, I mean, who hasn't seen The Godfather? You haven't seen The Godfather. You know what I mean. Have you seen Goodfellas? No. What movies do you watch I'm from here? A, I gotta tell you, I'm not a movie buff. <laughs> ben, look what just came in, buddy. Susan Anton workout tape. Really? Yeah. Did I want that one? You did want that one. I, I've seen the Susan Anton one. Part two? No. Listen, I uh, I actually came by not to even rent or get candy. Wow. Yeah. I actually, I'm having a party Saturday night. Oh, really? Yeah. Saturday night? Saturday night. Man, I'm going to the theater on Saturday night. Can you do this on Friday night? No, I mean, I planned the party Saturday night. Oh. I can't have the party Friday. Uh, my friend Joseph got the lead in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. He's playing Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I realize how funny that is now. That is a coincidence, huh? Yeah. Why are you lying? I mean, if you don't want to come to my party, just say, hey, Ben, I... No, I w would love to go to your party, but... Well, I don't have... lie again on top of the dumb theater lie. Ben, I'm not, I'm not lying to you. Where's the show playing, Todd? It's at the Royal Oak Theater. The Royal Oak. Yeah. Where is that? In England? It's on um, Oak Boulevard. I don't know. <laughs> it's on the ticket, which I don't have. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're not lying? No, I would love to go to your party. No, because it doesn't sound like you're lying. It sounds like you're telling the truth. You have a friend named Joseph who is in a play called Joseph playing at the Royal Oak Theater, and it's on Oak Street. Yes. Somebody's uh, here. I gotta go. Okay, Ben, have a good time. Todd. Ben, what's up, man? Wow. Look, you... I made it. Wow. Congratulations. What do you... I thought you were... Uh... Still dressed for the theater. Yeah, it looks it. So you weren't lying, huh? You went to the theater. Yeah, I did go to the theater. But... So you went to see Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph's going to come by the whole cast. Oh, really? Yeah. That, what, is it, They're they... coming. They're taking their makeup off. Well, I'm glad you came. Come on in. You're actually... Uh, ah, thanks. Number, hey. number one to arrive. What's going on with your hair, man? What do you mean? Was that dip or something? In it? Yeah. Yes. Anyway, Todd. Yeah. This is exciting. You should have been here. My uh, neighbor from upstairs, yeah. Mr. Warren, he's 88, hmm. was here. He came down. Why did he leave? He fell. He fell? <laughs> you came. Well, let me, uh, you know, want me to take your uh, your coat and... Oh, thank you. Well, why don't you, uh, you, you can come in, in the living room and sit and... Thanks, man. 
Do you want something to drink or yeah. something? I got food. There's food on the table there. Those are, you got to uh... put the music on now, man. Oh, I'll put Because this is just turning into me coming over to your house. What do you like to hear? You like slow jazz or? Slow jazz? No. I um, do have, I'll just put this on. I hope this is all right. Do you have any candles? I, I don't. I thought about that, though. I'd like some candles. Yeah, well, this isn't a date, Todd. And this is a party. <laughs> oh, I know that. Although, you'd really have to make a case for it. Yeah, no, well, I'm telling you, people are, are, are bound to show up any minute. And if not... Uh... Hey, Ben, I hate to break up the party, but why do you have two VCRs? The two VCRs are for... Because I... Oh, the, the one on the right is broken, so my dad... The one got... on the right, they're hooked to each other. Well, that's because we were trying to get power off the other one to get to... You but jump it, start? It are you? What are you talking about? What's it? Wait, what's this? What's this? What are you talking about? These are videotapes... These are Dick's House brand blank tape. Right. I get those all, all the time. From but there's labels on them with all the videos that you've rented. Oh, my God. Todd. My dad. Your dad what? My dad did that. That's your handwriting. How awful. I recognize your handwriting. My dad made me write that. What's up, Ben? Hey, Todd. Ah, I gotta tell you this, man. I gotta tell you this. What, what? We're gonna be having a big sale on previously viewed movies. 50% off. It starts Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, but special customers like you, come here at 8 o'clock. What? 8 o'clock. Uh, at 8? Come here at 8 o'clock, special customer. So you're having a sale of... Shh. Yeah, man. 50% off. Previously viewed movies. What does previously viewed movies mean? All of these movies are previously viewed. They're rentals. Start Saturday morning at 9. What is wrong with you? But you're a special customer. You can come in at 8. I honestly don't like the, the whole idea of previously viewed stuff. That they're, that's dirty. We've washed all of them. You wash the videos? Doesn't that ruin them? No, the cases. Oh. Not the video. I do have a thing about touching the used videos. Dude, you've touched more than I have. No, I, I, I actually don't touch them. What, do you use tongs or something? I have my video gloves. No, There's like a Petri dish in here. There's, everybody comes in and out. You don't know who's renting videos. Yeah. You know, I got to be honest with you, like the third week I came here, I don't think you were working here. Uh huh. I got a fungus. Check me out, Todd. You got two copies of the same movie there, Ben. Right. Kramer versus Kramer, I got two because I'm going to watch it twice. Dude, it's a mistake, right? You don't want both of these, right? No, I said I'm going to watch them twice, so that's why I got two. What's the problem? Why are you getting such sad movies? Two sad movies. I think sometimes people are in the mood to watch a film about family falling apart. Don't make me do this dance with you. What specifically has bothered you? Well, you know, my dad, uh... Ah, you don't want to hear it. I you sure do. Hear. Well, it's just depressing, and I, I assume you don't want to hear it. No, I want to hear it more than ever. Well, you know, my dad's been on, like, his, now he's seeing someone. Uh-huh. Well, you know that my mom left uh, my family a long time ago. Yeah, right, whatever. Yeah, thanks for the support. And then, uh... Recently, over the last couple of weeks, my dad's been, you know, seeing this woman pretty seriously, and I, uh -huh. I'm starting to get the uh, signals that, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna end in something awful like marriage. You think they're getting married? Well, I mean, they've oh been... my god, that's great. No, that's that's not great. You know, if, if he marries another woman, then she's, you know, like it's a whole new family. Got to get to know her. Nah, you don't have to get to know her. I have to do the obligatory, like, one year of hating her. I think you got to think of your dad's point of view, you know? He's no, you know, I think he's, he's getting a little older. He probably, you know, he wants to rush things a little bit. And so... Yeah, that's my point. I'm saying that he's making a mistake. Don't you want him to be happy, though? Don't you want your father to be happy? No, I like him like he is. What about you? What about... What about... I mean, you, you must know what I'm talking about. You're obviously from a broken home. I'm not, actually. My parents have been married 25 years, happily married 25 years. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see your parents a lot? Yeah. Like, how often? It's um, four years ago. Well, I would assume that if you loved your family that much, you'd see them more than every four years. It's because I love them that I only see them every four years. Well, it sounds like there's a problem there. Hey, I'm not the one renting Kramer versus Kramer twice. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I need help now, not hurt, Todd, so... Put one copy of this back, then. Oh, God, I'm sorry I sneezed on you. Oh, Jesus. Will we wipe up because I have a peanut? I had just eaten peanuts. You got to learn how to eat your food, man. Oh, my God. Todd, I'm sorry. I've never done that to another man. So anyway, what was I saying? Uh, Maybe I just better go. Hey, Todd. Hey, what's up, man? A lot's up. What's going on? Well, I've been working hard this week. You know, I'm a little tired. Really? Yeah. What have you been working on? 
Well, there's a guy in my apartment building. Uh huh. He has a coop on the on the roof. Do you know what a coop is? A pigeon coop. Yeah. Yeah. So this week he's away. Uh huh. And I'm uh, I'm looking after the pigeons. Really? Well, people scoff at it, Todd, and they're wrong. Well, enjoy the cleaning of the pigeon shit. You know, there's going to be a big storm, Todd. Yeah, I know. Coming through. I know. Are, are you going to close the uh, the store down? or Close the store down? Yeah, I mean, I hear there's going to be two feet of snow, and there's going to be hev- high winds. Hey, does toy stores don't close around Christmas, do they? Is this a riddle? Because I'm not good at them. Snowstorm equals let's go rent a movie. There's a mob of people who want videos for the storm. Well, you know, Todd... If you look around yeah. the store now, and then look around again, uh huh. Unless people are hiding, right? There's no one here. Storms are coming. Storms are coming. You know, here's the other wrench in the plan. I have never seen anyone here, and I come here pretty much daily. You're hurting my feelings. No, you know, I'm not making fun of you. Oh, no, I, I don't know why I thought you were. You know what? Don't take it personally. If I were making fun of you, I would I would say other stuff. I wouldn't talk about the video store. Really? I would talk about your personality and how, and how you dress funny. Really? And stuff like that and how you're, you're kind of weird and yeah. a loner type and who knows what you what you do on your own time. <laughs> I mean, I would say stuff like that. I wouldn't really? talk about the video store. I think this is probably the best aspect of your life. Really? Yes. So I don't need, like, an exciting pigeon hobby to keep me going? Todd, you're going to love this. What's that? This is a big day. Really? Yeah. I just acquired Mm -hmm. the big one. Right. The big baby. Mr. Biggerton. Professor Biggins. What'd you buy, man? Dr. Big. Paging Dr. Big. Todd, I just bought a 72-inch television. 72 inches? This is like, bar none, the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. When how I much did this it. thing set you back? Set who back? Whoever bought this, how much oh, did not, set that person not back? not me. It set that person back a lot. Wow. Yeah, it was my father. Your father bought you a, a six-foot TV. Well, I did the paperwork. <laughs> Hey, Ben, how are you, man? Mm-hmm. What do you have there? Ooh, ooh, a new release. I hear it's good. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? Mm. Oof. Ah. Mm. You know, I... Oh. Ben, this is reserved, man. Mm. This mm. is... I can't rent you this. Give it to me. <clears throat> ben, what are you doing? <clears throat> are you all right, man? <clears throat> you got something in your mouth you want to take out? Mm. What the hell's going on? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to play hangman with you. You made a bet with your father that you could take a vow of silence? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. I mean, not funny enough to go through all this, but it's funny. Mm. Why would you bet your father? Mm-hmm. Your dad is going to win this bet. Yeah, he will. You see what I mean? I have to call your dad. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, you can't say, yeah, he will. Mm. And then, no, it's too late. It's tarnished. Your vow mm. of silence has been tarnished. <sighs> Come on. Ben. <laughs> hey, Todd. <laughs> Keep it down. Ben. You don't want to wake the customers. I know. I never greet you with any enthusiasm. I just thought I should start doing it. Ben. <laughs> it's like a spiritual. Yeah. You're doing, man. Yeah. Hey, Todd. Uh. Yes. My dad is filling in for this uh, talk radio show on, uh, I think it's AM 620. I love talk radio. Do you know uh, Campbell's Couch? Do you yeah, know that? yeah, yeah. You do? This is Campbell's Couch, the, oh, the, 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 the therapist. Yeah, the radio therapy over the phone thing, yeah. That's right, you call in and you talk. You call in. Well, my dad is going to do it. Oh, that's a good thing to do, man. It is. A... You should be proud of that as a therapist. Well, Campbell, apparently, it's a, people, a lot of people listen to that show. It's like, it's like therapy without all the privacy. Well, that's right, because it's, it's, you're trying to help more people than just the person. Privacy always stops a person from really letting their, their problems pour out. I'm saying Campbell provides f- a free service. People call in, they don't have to pay for therapy. But uh, I'm a little worried that my dad is not going to get a lot of callers because, you know, he's a fill-in. Uh-huh. It's like having a substitute teacher, you know, nobody pays attention. Yeah. So I'm soliciting people to call really? on Friday. So here's the number. You want me to call on Friday? Well, I wouldn't mind. You, you know, yeah. 
Yeah, but I, I, what am I going to call? I got, you know, I'm, I'm normal. I got nothing. Problem wise, I got nothing going on. Really? No, I don't have any problems. Well, Todd, that is a problem. Why don't you call? Him? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna. But I just want, I want other people to call because I don't want my dad to look dumb on, on the air. You know, I don't want. To how's, like... how's he going to look if I call him? Go, Hi, I'm normal, but your son told me to call. Well, Todd, maybe if you call up and say you're normal, he could find out, re you know, what's really behind that. Behind my normalcy? Well, I don't think you're normal. Really? Yeah. I've had very few, especially as an adult, I've had very few problems. Really? Just, you know, a few childhood traumas, but we don't need to talk about them anymore. Well, maybe you do. Maybe they're still still eating at you. What happened when you were a child? You know, it was, there was a bad birthday party when I was six. Oh, really? Yeah. How bad? My parents hired a clown to entertain ten kids. Oh, one of those bad clown stories where the guy showed up drunk? No, he was great until the heart attack. Uh -huh. All of us kids thought it was part of the show. We were still dancing and singing, Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush. <laughs> My father did CPR on the guy. That's a pretty funny sight. <laughs> CPR on a clown. I laugh about it now. Hey, Todd. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? <laughs> going on, man? Did you read that thing about the uh, the big case in the paper? Oh, that? yeah, the thing with the mailbox? No, no, no. Oh. The one with the grapes? No, no, no. I saw that one, not the grapes one. Oh. That was awful. Which case are you talking about? The the magic markers and the old people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read about that one. Oh, you did read that? Yeah, yeah. That was weird, huh? Yeah. But you know what? My dad mm -hmm. was called to give testimony. Oh, like an expert witness? Like an expert witness, yeah. Because uh, he's a psychiatrist, and uh, they think the guy who did it is crazy. Uh -huh. So they want to get him off on an insanity plea, right. is what they call it. Oh, so your dad's like this hired gun now? Well, it's not the Old West. Your dad's a professional gun. No, he's not a gun. He's a doctor. I mean, it's got to be a little bit lucrative, you know? Yeah. Just for like 400 bucks an hour. Really? How much do you make an hour? It's substantially less than 400 Give me a number. My salary is private. Oh, don't be like that. Money issues are private. All right. I just told you. I guess my... unless you're making 400 bucks an hour, then ooh, somehow that gets into the conversation. Guess what I'm doing this weekend, man? What's that? <laughs> you don't have to get excited just because I am. I'm sorry. What's that? I'm uh, I'm doing uh, the walk for hunger. Really? Mm-hmm. Actually, I was thinking that I, I I could get you to sponsor me. You want me to sponsor you? Well, I mean, um, I need to get some sponsors, and I figure Vix Video could be one of them. And oh, you want could... the whole store to sponsor you? I could walk with a Vix Video signboard. What would that cost, Vix? That would cost you ten bucks a mile. Ten bucks a mile? Or I could wear a Vix Video T-shirt for five bucks a mile. Because no... I know Vic is anti-charity, so he's... there's no way. But isn't it beneficial for a company to give a certain amount to charity because it's a tax write-off? I'll call Vic. Hold on, I'm gonna call. No, you know what? Don't call Vic. Why don't you just? Open the till and give me some cash. The till? Yeah. What do you think, is like a country store or something? Let me ask you a question. How much money do you skim a week? I don't skim. Off Vic. I don't skim. I'm just saying, you must. I mean, you work with cash. Yeah, I work. Vic is never here. I doubt he even checks the books. So in the interest of doing something really moral, you want me to do something immoral? I would say, That's let's skip the money for the walk for hunger and just take some money. <laughs> oh, now we're not even talking about the walk anymore? Yeah, screw the walk. Todd. Hey, Ben, what's what's up? What are you talking about? I don't know. You're covered in, it's like flour. Oh, yeah. I uh, I broke a bag open. at. Uh, oh, I, I got a new job. A job? J-O-B. Wow. Where are you working, man? I'm working at Steve's Bakery. Steve's Bakery? Do you know Steve's Bakery? It's like it's... I love their rolls and muffins. Yeah, this is my first day. Are you a baker? I, uh, I'm an assistant to the baker. You're a baker's assistant? Well, more like an associate. An associate to the assistant? I'm like a vice baker. <laughs> it's just, just me and him. What does your job entail? Yeah, it's an amazing process. An amazingly boring process. <laughs> Oh, so oh, I get it. So you're upset because she, she's not engaged to you. Well, I mean, I didn't propose. Ah. Apparently anybody you could. You snooze, you lose, man. Well, I just didn't think to propose. I thought, it, I thought it would be premature. I didn't know there was some sort of timetable. I just thought, like, oh, eventually it's going to happen. Right. 
And then some some loser rock and roll guy who oh. works part time at a bookstore just jumps in. If and, you had it to do over again, would you propose to her? If you knew this guy was going to well, propose? if I knew this guy was going to step in and, and step in and yeah. steal the thunder, I yeah, I would have done something about it. Have they set a date for the for the uh, wedding? Well, I mean, she didn't really talk about it. She went, you know, she was being very coy. Whatever that date is, you have until about a week before that date to turn the whole thing around. Wait, so you think that there's a chance maybe if I if I act now, I could... You know, you could do something really passionate and just sort of... Well, what's like really passionate? You go into... I'll tell you what you do. You go into that office tomorrow. Yeah. And you say, uh, Laura, you were making a mistake. Right, but I mean... And if I let you make that mistake, I'll feel like I'm making a mistake. Yeah, but what if I'm making a mistake by doing that? You got to go for it. You think so? You think that I would I would live... Just do it. You're going to feel so good if you do this. So I should make it clear my my feelings. Right. Yeah, but what if she just like um no what ifs. There yeah. are no what ifs. Man, you are like Patton, you know? <laughs> you can fire up the troops. You can... like I'm going to go over there now and I'm going to I'll tell her how I feel. Right. You know, she's lost and she's young and and she's being plucked up by yeah. some ideal of what's cool and what's right to right. do with some rock and roll guy and well, you know And but... I'm here to say, look, I've lived through that baby. Yeah. I've done it all. Yeah. I gotta learn how to play an instrument. That's all there is to it. That was gonna be my next suggestion. Well, I kind of been studying them lately. You've been studying them? Yeah, especially the sort of the monologue part. Because I'm, you know, I'm thinking about turning my career around. Turning your career around. 180 degrees and going in opposite direction. I would think that's the kind of career where you just kind of dive in and just start writing a bunch of jokes and you see if they're good. What's this? I have to repeat all that? I'm sorry. I tuned out. I said that sounds like a career where you just have to dive in. And yeah, whatever, the... Todd. Listen, here's the point. The world of television is just totally open to me, and I'm going to jump right in. Well, you're always really funny here at the store. See, this is the problem with being a joke writer, is that everyone's like, be funny now, mm -hmm. like on the spot. Like, um, you hold up your pen and like, oh, right. tell me a joke about this pen. And I'm like, well, yeah. I, I don't do that. I want to hear these jokes, man. Well, I mean, I didn't bring any. I could just, I mean, I... Pretend I'm a, like a woman and you're trying to pick me up and you want to... Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't use my jokes as a pickup. I write about my own experiences and what I see in the world. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, actually, I had lunch today. I was eating one of those club sandwiches. Right. How come uh, nobody's thought of making the edible toothpick? Because I prefer not to have the roof of my mouth stabbed every time I chew. It's like, hello, doctor. Are you with me, Todd? That's a weak joke, actually. What do you mean, weak? Not weak. Do you do any topical jokes? Well, Todd, maybe you're just not a laugher. Did you ever think of that? Yeah, I think you're going to be meeting lots of non-laughers. Mm -hmm.